Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're switching gears and heading down under to a country that's been high on my travel bucket list, New Zealand. Now, if you're a solo female traveler like me, you know that choosing the right destination is key. You want somewhere safe, welcoming, and brimming with adventure. And let me tell you, New Zealand ticks all those boxes and more. From its breathtaking landscapes that feel straight out of a movie set to its friendly locales who make you feel right at home, New Zealand offers an unforgettable experience. So if you're ready to swap stories with sheep, hike to hidden waterfalls, and maybe even try a little bungee jumping, then buckle up. Over the next few chapters, we're diving deep into why New Zealand is a dream destination for solo female travelers. We'll cover everything from safety tips to budget-friendly accommodation options, and of course, all the incredible experiences that await you. So grab your travel journal, get ready to be inspired, and let's discover the magic of Aotearoa together. Let's be real, safety is a top priority for any traveler, especially when you're going solo. And that's where New Zealand really shines. It consistently ranks as one of the safest countries globally, with a strong focus on law enforcement and community well-being. This means you can wander those stunning landscapes and vibrant cities with an extra dose of peace of mind, knowing that your safety is a top priority. Whether you're hiking a remote mountain trail or exploring a bustling night market, you can relax and embrace the adventure without constantly looking over your shoulder. But it's not just about statistics, it's about the overall vibe. You know that feeling when you arrive somewhere new and can just sense that it's a good place. That's New Zealand in a nutshell. It just has this incredibly safe and welcoming atmosphere that's hard to describe but instantly puts you at ease. So whether you're a seasoned solo traveler or just starting your adventures, rest assured that New Zealand offers a safe and secure environment to explore at your own pace. It's the perfect place to step outside your comfort zone, try new things and create unforgettable memories all while feeling confident and secure. Now, let's talk about the heart and soul of New Zealand. It's people, the Kiwis. These wonderful individuals are the true essence of what makes this country so special. They are known for their incredible hospitality, down-to-earth nature, and genuine warmth that makes you feel like you've known them forever. It's a feeling that stays with you long after you've left, it's like having a friend in every corner of the country, ready to help you out or share a laugh. Whether you're lost or just looking for a good place to eat, there's always a Kiwi ready to lend a hand. From the moment you step off the plane, you'll be greeted with smiles and friendly hellos. This warm welcome sets the tone for your entire journey. Don't be surprised if locals strike up conversations, offer travel tips, or even invite you to join them for a coffee. They love sharing their culture and stories with visitors. They're genuinely interested in getting to know you and sharing their love for their country. This genuine interest makes every interaction meaningful. And for solo travelers, this local friendliness is a game changer. It transforms your experience from solitary to social, making every moment enjoyable. It instantly breaks down those barriers of traveling alone and makes you feel so welcome and included. You become part of the community, even if just for a short while. You'll never feel lonely with the Kiwis around. Their friendliness ensures that you're always in good company. They're always up for a chat, whether it's about the best hiking trails, the tastiest local treats, or just life in general. Their knowledge and enthusiasm are infectious. So don't be shy, embrace the Kiwi kindness. It's an invitation to experience the true spirit of New Zealand. Ask questions, share stories, and connect with the locals. These moments of connection are what make your travel experience richer. It's through these interactions that your journey becomes truly special. The bonds you form here will stay with you forever. You'll leave New Zealand with not just incredible memories, but also new friends scattered across this beautiful country. These friendships are the true treasures of your travels. All right, let's talk about the scenery because wow, New Zealand is drop dead gorgeous. Think about it, snow-capped mountains, turquoise glaciers, rolling green hills dotted with sheep. It's like stepping into a postcard. And the best part is, these landscapes are so accessible. You can be hiking through a rainforest one minute, then gazing at a glacier the next. It's that diversity that makes it perfect for solo exploration. 
Imagine yourself driving along those winding coastal roads, the wind in your hair, pulling over at every turn because the view just takes your breath away. That's the magic of New Zealand. Whether you're an avid hiker, a photography enthusiast, or just someone who appreciates natural beauty, New Zealand's landscapes will leave you speechless. Trust me, you won't want to put your camera down. If you're an adrenaline junkie like me, New Zealand is basically your playground. This country is the birthplace of bungee jumping for goodness sake. So naturally, adventure is in its DNA. We're talking about heart-pumping activities like skydiving over those incredible landscapes, whizzing through canyons on a zip line, or whitewater rafting through roaring rapids, and that's just scratching the surface. But hey, not everyone's into extreme thrills, right? No worries, New Zealand caters to all kinds of adventurers. Prefer something a bit more laid back? How about kayaking through a stunning fjord or hiking one of the countless trails with views that'll blow your mind? The point is, whether you're a daredevil or a nature enthusiast, New Zealand has an adventure with your name on it. And going solo, it means you get to choose your own pace, challenge yourself and create your own epic stories. One of the things that makes New Zealand so fantastic for solo female travellers is its size. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still heaps to see and do, but the beauty is you can actually experience a lot of it without spending half your trip on a bus. The distances between destinations are manageable, meaning you can easily hop from one incredible place to the next without any crazy long journeys. Imagine, you could be hiking a glacier in the morning and soaking in a natural hot spring by the evening. Plus, the country's compact size makes it super easy to get around, whether you choose to rent a car or utilize their awesome public transport system. Think about it. Less time traveling means more time exploring, right? So if you're short on time or just prefer not to be on the move constantly, New Zealand's compact size is a huge plus. It allows you to really immerse yourself in each place you visit and make the most of your solo adventure. Alright, let's talk about getting around in New Zealand because trust me, it's a breeze. We're talking well-maintained roads that just beg for a road trip, whether you're renting a car or hopping on a scenic bus route. And speaking of buses, the public transport system here is super reliable. Trains too. They've got you covered whether you're zipping between cities or exploring those charming little towns. This ease of travel means you can pack more into your trip without the stress of complicated logistics. Seriously, I can't overstate how much easier this makes solo travel. You're not reliant on anyone else for rides, you can go at your own pace, and those spontaneous detours, totally doable. It just adds to that sense of freedom and adventure that makes solo travel so special. Plus, you meet awesome people along the way. One of the things that makes New Zealand so special is its rich Māori culture. This isn't just something you read about in a textbook here. It's woven into the fabric of the country. From the moment you arrive, you'll encounter place names in Te Reo Māori, the indigenous language, and you'll feel that deep connection to the land and the people. Make sure to experience a traditional Māori welcome ceremony, or pauhiri. It's such an incredible way to learn about their customs, beliefs, and history. You can visit a marae, a traditional meeting house, and hear the stories passed down through generations. You might even have the opportunity to try a hangi, which is a delicious feast cooked underground. Trust me, immersing yourself in Maori culture will be a highlight of your New Zealand adventure. It's about connecting with the heart and soul of this incredible country and its people. Calling all movie buffs, especially my fellow Lord of the Rings fans. New Zealand is basically Middle Earth come to life. Seriously, the landscapes here are so otherworldly and magical, it's no wonder Peter Jackson chose it as his filming location. You can literally step into those epic scenes from the movies. Imagine hiking through the rolling hills of Hobbiton, or kayaking through the stunning fjords that became the backdrop for Rivendell. And even if you're not a diehard fan, you can't help but be blown away by the sheer beauty of these places. There are guided tours that take you behind the scenes, sharing fascinating insights about the filming process. But honestly, even just wandering around on your own, you'll feel like you've stepped right into one of Tolkien's books. It's an experience that stays with you long after you've left.
So you're a solo female traveller thinking, where will I stay in New Zealand? How will I find a place that feels like home? Don't worry, New Zealand is a haven for backpackers and budget travellers, and it's overflowing with unique hostels that cater to every kind of traveller. We're not talking about your typical cramped dorm rooms here. These hostels are designed with comfort and style in mind. Think eco-friendly lodges tucked away in rainforests where you can wake up to the sounds of nature, renovated villas with stunning harbour views that take your breath away, even working farms where you can milk a cow before breakfast. And the best part? You get to experience a slice of local life. Hostels are all about community. They create a space where you can meet people from all over the world. Most of them organize events and activities, from movie nights to cooking classes, from pub crawls to guided hikes, ensuring there's always something fun to do, making it super easy to connect with fellow travelers. You'll never feel alone. I've met some of my best travel buddies in hostel common rooms, swapping stories over cups of tea or planning spontaneous adventures. These shared experiences often turn into lifelong friendships. But maybe you're craving something a bit more intimate. No problem. New Zealand has options for everyone. New Zealand also boasts charming bed and breakfasts, often run by local families eager to share their culture and insider tips. Imagine the warmth of a home away from home, where hosts treat you like family. Imagine waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread, the sound of birdsong, and a home-cooked breakfast with ingredients straight from the garden. It's a truly idyllic way to start your day. Whether you're after the social vibes of a hostel, where every day is an adventure, or the personalized touch of a B&B, where every detail is taken care of, you'll find a welcoming and safe haven in New Zealand. It's a place where you can truly find your tribe. Okay, solo travel is amazing, but sometimes it's nice to have everything taken care of, to meet like-minded people, and to have a local expert guide you through the hidden gems and must-see spots. That's where solo travel tours come in. They offer the perfect blend of independence and support. And trust me, New Zealand has a tour for every kind of traveler, whether you're an adrenaline junkie or a culture enthusiast. Imagine this. You could be kayaking through the pristine waters of Abel Tasman National Park, rappelling down waterfalls in the adventure capital of Queenstown, or learning about Maori culture on a guided walk through ancient forests. The possibilities are endless. All the logistics are sorted, from transportation and accommodation to meals and activities, leaving you free to soak up the experience and enjoy the company of your fellow adventurers. No need to worry about the details. And the best part? Solo travel tours attract people from all walks of life, all united by their love for exploration and their desire to experience the best of New Zealand. It's a melting pot of cultures and stories. You'll find yourself sharing incredible moments with people from different cultures, backgrounds and age groups, forming bonds that can last a lifetime. These shared experiences create unforgettable memories. So if you're feeling a little hesitant about going it alone, a solo travel tour is a fantastic way to dip your toes into the world of independent travel while still having the support and camaraderie of a group. It's the best of both worlds. Who knows? You might even discover your next travel buddy for life. The connections you make could lead to future adventures together. All right, adventurers, picture this. After a day of exploring epic landscapes, you find yourself sinking into steaming hot springs surrounded by lush greenery. Sounds dreamy, right? Well, that's exactly what you can experience in New Zealand. From the geothermal wonderland of Rotorua to the hidden gems scattered across the country, these natural hot springs offer the ultimate relaxation experience. Imagine soaking in mineral-rich waters, letting go of any tension, and just feeling your worries melt away. And hey, the best part, Many of these hot springs come with stunning views. Talk about the perfect way to unwind after a day of hiking those incredible trails or trying out thrilling activities. It's no wonder New Zealand is a haven for solo female travelers seeking both adventure and tranquility. Now, if you're like me and love a little pampering, you'll be thrilled to know that New Zealand is home to an array of incredible spa retreats. Trust me, these aren't your average spas. We're talking next level rejuvenation in stunning settings. 
Imagine yourself surrounded by breathtaking landscapes, indulging in soothing massages, invigorating facials, and maybe even trying a traditional Maori healing treatment. Sounds pretty amazing, right? Whether you're looking for a weekend escape or a longer retreat to fully disconnect and recharge, New Zealand has something for everyone. And for solo female travelers, it's the perfect opportunity to prioritize self-care and return home feeling refreshed and revitalized. So there you have it, fellow explorers. From its stunning landscapes and adventure activities to its welcoming culture and incredible wellness offerings, New Zealand truly has it all for the solo female traveler. I hope this video has inspired you to add this beautiful country to your bucket list. And remember, solo travel is an empowering and transformative experience, allowing you to connect with yourself and the world around you on a deeper level. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel tips and inspiration. Safe travels!